It's, it's, a, it's an exciting show. You know? I'm our, I'm it's probably one of the best shows we've ever done. And we haven't even done it yet. I know. I we're, agree. We're just about to do it. It's you ready? definitely you ready? one of our top. Mm -hmm. so yep. okay. oh, I think the red puts on extra pounds. It does. <laughs> it's our story we're sticking to. <laughs> I, th I think that Red's bad for me. Blue's bad for you. It, oh, yeah. This is not one of my favorite shirts. But I, I still. But but it's a shirt. We appreciate it. Yes, yes. 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 It's, it's, we're not playing schoolyard basketball. <laughs> Shirts and skins. <laughs> it's not a it's not a pickup game or anything it's like not that. A pickup game. Howdy y'all. I'm Mr. Holga. And I'm Todd Puckett. And this is Don's used photo equipment. So yes. you like the shirt? I yeah. love the shirt. Yeah, yeah. It's like I told you I visited Bucky's this weekend. You were just there, right? It's yep. you know, you, actually, you know, I I'm pro beaver, so that's why I'm wearing the shirt. So mm -hmm. Mustangs I love have, who love beavers. Uh, who who doesn't love a good beaver? I'm telling you, man big ones too. I mean, you know, all right. So we got a lot to cover here and let's get down to the super important stuff right yes, now. Yes. Wait, what you said it? we were going to dinner after this. Where are we going? I don't know. Uh, but are we, we have, having fish? We having burgers? We having one of, barbecue? One of them. One of them. One of them. Well, which one? I don't know. I think uh, we had fish last time. Yeah. Yeah, we did. So well, we may choose something different. Who knows? Or we may just go back to our old routine. When you get older, you got routines. See, so <laughs> there's some fringe benefits. Knowing that sometimes he buys. Sometimes. sometimes. Not always. Not always. No. But sometimes he does. This won't be one of those. So, but today, no, honestly, today. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Shh. Yeah. Shh. Today, um, today, today is, we got it's really cool, really exciting show we're going to talk about because uh, slide like, film. it's already top ten slide film. Slide we're film. talking about slide e film six, and not, not only just slide film, e slide film developing. Yes, slide and film, slide film developing. So you got a brand new film, and I said I've got to try that. Oh, I thought you were going to say I got a brand new pair of roller skates. No, 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 no. no, okay. no, no yeah. No. Okay. Got a brand new. Yes. Now, if you follow us on Instagram, which Instagram, like, follow, share, all those fun things. Instagram. Instagram. That's that'd be so cool if, if you we followed were us on Instagram. Only on Instagram. Mm hmm. You saw at Don's use photo the big yes the yes, biggest bag at the big bag of. Retro Chrome Film. Retro Chrome. Retro Chrome Film. This now, is Film now, Photography Project. We sold a bunch of it. Film. And then, uh, so we put it down into a smaller bag. It's the smaller bag. It's a smaller See, bag. this is a small bag of film, guys. Small bag. I would say. Of was, Retro Chrome Film. Was it double this size? Easily double. It was, it was huge. Yeah, it had about 120... Uh, 120, 130 rolls? Well, it's 125, but not all of them fit. I think it only had about 115. <laughs> it was a big bag. Yeah. Go check out the Instagram go, and see go the check us big out. bag of The film. big bag. Now, this is what's left of, of that first order. Now. I mean, this is some, you know, yeah. right off the bat. This these these little bitty, this, it, I just love it already. These guys are so... Uh, film Photography Project. They're they're recycling all all recycling. these all these bodies and caps are all slightly different. Everything, uh, every, they've been labeled. These are all every everything is different. They're clean. They're they're, they're clear ones. They're new cartridges ones. though. New. They're all in new cartridges. No, those are recycled cartridges. Yeah, but it has the name on it. It has the name Retro Chrome on it. But if you, you I think you can just peel that off and underneath it, is, is there a it? sticker? Yes. Oh, yes. these guys are green. I like that. They're green. They are green. So recycled retro chrome 400 now we might as well just talk about what this is right now I guess yeah well let's say yeah. what it is it's, it's it's film it's, it's film. slide film now where did it come from where did it come from where did it come from the story about this thing is basically a government agency had a wait was it our government Yes, the U.S. government. Agent. Oh, I was hoping this was a, a no, Russian spy story. No, no, that would have been so. That's a different story. The KGB had KGB. this backlog of film. Yes, no, it's not that fun. It's a U.S. This government. is this is Putin's personal stash of film. It is not, <laughs> but so this is Eisenhower's personal stash of film. No, no, this is this. this supposedly, it's only about ten years out of date. Ten oh, to twelve okay. years out okay. of date. It's Reagan's. It's Reagan. <laughs> no, getting, no. Am I getting closer? Good grief, no. <laughs> 10 years I, I'm in trying the, to think of what is, who era. was our last Cold War president Cold know. War I don't know that would be Bush or Reagan Bush or yep now but but Back recently to the film. recently <laughs> see that's causing me to think it's like <laughs> no we haven't had dinner yet so I can't think but but recently well, well more recent than Reagan there's the Kodak film yeah 
And it's supposedly technical slide film made for... Okay. Well, one person said it's basically made for airplanes flying over areas, taking pictures. Area 51? No, no, that's where they leave from. Oh, okay. You can't take uh, pictures yeah, yeah, of yeah. it. You leave from it. Okay. Yeah. Whoops. Pick that up <laughs> He's later. just throwing film around. Throw, I got so much of it left. <laughs> He's got money falling out of his pockets, guys. <laughs> yeah, nickels, dimes. The, uh, <laughs> still money. Still money. Well, anyway, the government put this in cold storage. Okay. And brought it out recently. Film Photography Project bought some of it and said, hey, let's go play with it. And they did. Okay, yeah, yeah. And they said, wow, it works. All right. And then they bought the whole lot out. I thought you were saying the government pulled it out of storage and they said, Niet, Niet. <laughs> which is going to get me back to that Cold War story. Yeah, again. yeah. You never know. We can start rumors. <laughs> we could start rumors. And uh, so, yeah, so they, they pulled it out. They sit there and they made a whole batch of this stuff. And at that point, the first batch of it was 36 exposure rolls. Then okay. they sold it, went out. It was extremely popular. People loved it because right now, no one's making a high speed slide film. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely not. No. It's uh, right. It's 100 is the fastest slide film that's currently in production. Yeah. So you have a whole lot of 400 speed slide film out there. Okay. In really good shape. And uh, this is sort of the last known hidden treasure. It's a, it's a gem. It's, it's a gem. gem. It's and you have released. got. You I've bought got up 120 some odd rolls. 120. Of it, my but first he's, purchase. He's, he's down now, guys. Um, yep. Yeah, so so hurry in, and it's 10.99 per roll. So they remade this. I mean, well, they didn't remade it. They made a second batch, the last batch. Mm -hmm. When this batch stuff runs out, that's it. There's there no more. are no more. Oh, hidden. then it's knit. Then it's knit, knit, knit. <laughs> no mas. No mas. Mm, okay. And so then you have. This film, it's 24 exposures now, but they're still charging me the same price. I, still I, charge now, I've, sh I've shot some of this. Yeah. I've shot some of this, and I've, and I've got some opinions for you guys. So you actually have to stay now, tuned to the end of the video because we're going to be looking at some of my pictures. Yes. And yes. I'm going to give you some, I'm going to give you essentially my review of this film. Yes. So please do stay tuned for that. Stay yeah. tuned. Stay tuned. But, but while we're is, at it, my, my chair's rolling. <laughs> chair's rolling. <laughs> but while we're at it, since you've gotten this far, please do share, like, right. subscribe yep. to this yep. video. Yep. Because if we wait to the end of the say that, you might never do it. Yeah. Uh, yep. Go ahead do and hit, now. hit the like button. Do it now. Hit, don't hit it twice, just to hit it once. Yeah. If you hit it twice, it goes away. It goes away. You <laughs> unlike us. <laughs> that, that wouldn't wait till the end of the video wait, before that, you unlike that us. That would be good. Yeah, so all of this talk, and again, this film's not going to be around much longer, so that's mm. not really the crux of this whole thing. Okay. The crux of it is, is we're using this film yeah. as a jumping off point into slide film in general and processing of slide film, E6 yes. processing. That's the fun thing. Because yes. we've never talked, we've uh, out of how 50, nearly 50 episodes that we've done. Nearly. Dangerously nearly, close to 50 episodes. Nearly 50 episodes. In fact, it's just whiskers away from it then we are this is, this is episode 49. 49 anyways yes so this is the first time we really talked about slide film and now that cinestill is making e6 chemistry yeah for the average person mm -hmm. let's talk about it because i sell it here at the store you do you do sell it and here. you are our, our store guinea pig <sighs> Yeah, that just sounds so bad. <laughs> uh, we just have him around for Wait, experiments. He's just around because, you know, the uh, chemistry doesn't really affect him that much. Yeah, when he starts twitching. <laughs> then we know the chemistry is bad. <laughs> but we have him He's been in the dark room too long. <laughs> he's glowing <laughs> like the dials on the timer. Yes. Yep, that's, that's not The, the that's radium dials. He's, he's, he's spent too much time with the radium. No, that's not good. <laughs> it really wouldn't be. Yes. But we have had... He, he's... He, Tried out the C uh, the C forty one or the CS forty one kit. I've already done the CS forty one kit, which I'm going to put a link to above his head. Yes, go uh, check out that video. Out. Yeah, lovely review because we that sell one. the chemistry to that too. Yes, super simple, and that was my first color yes. jumping off point. Yes, and I'm like you know I've that been doing black and white for years. First non white, black and white, uh, and attempt. I'm thinking I had to do some color, and you sold me that pack, sure. and I tell you what, I've gotten uh, fourteen rolls out of that. Oh, one. I thought you were going to say fourteen views of that video. No, no, no. <laughs> No. Woo! <laughs> I, no, I've developed 14 rolls of film. Yes, he did. With the CS41 color simplified mm -hmm. uh, powder kit. I actually got the powder kit. Yeah. 
uh, like I said, go see the, the video, which I put the link above his head that you yes. should really go check that out. So this time, now we're doing the slide, the E6, which again is made by Cinestel. Right. Uh, they made both the, the CS41 and the E6 process. Right. And he's, we're going to talk about this. Now, this is the whole fun part about our video today. Right. So, yes. All right. This is the one you need first. Now, this, is, right. a, this is an empty container. This is a three-step process. Three-step. Three. Uno, dos, tres. See. Si. Daylight. There's, it has a one up here. There are options. There are one options. So you have a box, you have a one, you have a box two and a box three. Now, right, so before we get too far, this is the Cinestill film creative slide three bath process. Yes. Okay. That is the official yeah. name. The fun part of it, like uh, Todd is about, is explained to you right now is the first step. You have choices. Yes. Only in this one where the, the other one. two steps, no, no choices. You don't. You don't. Now there is daylight. Yep. There is chrome. Yep. And then there is tungsten. Yes. So those are the three choices. You which, get to pick which one are, of those three. Which is uh, daylight, chrome, tungsten, chrome, and dynamic chrome. Yes. Those are your three choices. What did I go with? Daylight. Daylight, tungsten, and oh, man, I already forgot. <laughs> They're right here. One, two, and three. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Day, let's see. Daylight, tungsten, and dynamic. Now that he went with the daylight, which is. Probably the second most, the dynamic seems to be very popular. The daylight is second and tungsten is least, you know, I, I have sold the least of those. Right, right. Now, so you have a choice with this, the first thing. But once you go past this stage, you have the second. And it has two on it. This. They are nicely numbered. There is yes. a number one on here. There's a number two on here. And, and hint, there's three. a number three on that one. Number three, yes. There's only one. You, you, there's only one. It's like the Highlander. There can only be one, <laughs> and this is it. You don't have choices of There this. can only be one, yes. There can only be one. So then you have the second step. Yes. Then you go from this to the third step. Right. Three. There's only one. You don't have choices of this. You just have the one. Okay. And that's the three-step process. Now, you're since you did this, since I did this, yeah. So let me. I'm just gonna gotta go time. through this stuff. And um, well, yeah. the first one, right? So uh, now I didn't make as many mistakes as I did <laughs> this one as I did with the CS41. <laughs> However, I did make the same mistake, which is not reading completely and thoroughly. Oh, do they have like footnotes in here too? Well, they didn't have a footnote, but uh, I read on the on the the bottle here how to mix it. Yes. And I must have missed the point that you had to actually have this thing at 104 degrees when you're mixing it. Or, or it says mixing solution, but it doesn't really say down here that you have to be at a certain yeah, temperature. Right. It, it doesn't just says mix it. Right down here, it just says mix it. And essentially, it's going to be 50-50. It's going to be half water, half, uh, half, this. Okay. Uh, half this. Well, but then when you look at the instructions, and I look at the exact same stuff, it says, oh, you want, you want you to be at uh, about 100 degrees temperature. You know, I've got uh, 60C. <laughs> yeah, and once like, you started it, now. It's like, huh, okay, now. well, I've already mixed it. Now yeah. what am I going to do? So I essentially, I, I just put the, uh, the mixed liquid into some warm water and I and then I kind of remixed it back and forth. So I, I, I apparently got over that. That yeah. was no problem. Okay. You got so, it up to 100. So the, yeah, I got it up and I got it mixed. So the, right. the little box. Go ahead and open this one. Up. Okay, we're going to open the box. So this one Ooh. is easy as well. Now I use just two one liter beakers. Uh, comes at the top. Top? Yeah, the top. That's just open not the top. Fun. I'm sorry. It's I, the I was top. taking the hard There's one. just two bottles in there. So the two bottles and you'll actually have instructions in here. Okay. Wow. Part A. So this one is the one, and that's part one B. to one. Now the nice part about oh, part A and two, part B three. is they say two and three. So that's one, that's two, three, and mm -hmm. I hit and a hint in the other box is four or five. Wow. Okay. So once again, I'm gonna put in some warm water in a uh, a beaker, 22 ounces for mm -hmm. this part two. So oh first of all, excuse me, let me back up one little step because I brought these babies with me. Whoa. So this is the daylight right here that I mixed one to one. Okay, so that's, it's all that's done, it's by itself. And, and it fits perfectly in the 30 And that's what I wanted to show yeah. here. That's why I brought these bottles with me because this is the amber jar that you sell. Yes. And I, you have this much at the top. You have, that fits perfectly. Three amber jars from uh, from the shop here, yep. that's all you need. And I've they're got, only five ninety five. dollars I've got bottle. like what, an inch, maybe half an inch here at oh, the top? Oh, almost an inch, yeah. Perfect, so. Three quarters. Of so that was number one, works yeah. just fine. Yep. So this next one, once again, I've rinsed my beakers. 
Uh, I've put in the, the warm water that I need, which is like 85 to 115 degrees or 46 degrees Celsius. Uh, I've got that in a beaker and I put in the first one, which I believe this is number two. Number three. This is number two. This is number two. All right. Well, I put that one in. I put this one in. And then what I do is I mix them back and forth just between two beakers. They right. say you can stir it, but I'm like, eh, why stir when yeah. you can do that? So, and as soon as I figured that to is, is back done to your well enough. College days at the, at the, um, bar at the bar. <laughs> I never worked at a bar but all right and then as soon as this one is mixed thoroughly enough yep. I go to, I just dump in the second one and then I mix those back and forth yeah so that's two and three uh these two turn it to like a purplish color but not that you're going to be able to tell because they're in an amber jar but this one looks more like a grape soda than it does anything else mm -hmm. okay so well, just don't drink it don't do not drink it because the next one which yep. are, all right, so I'm going to go clean box, my, I'm going to go clean three. my beakers again. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put in the required 14 ounces of warm water, which essentially is 85 wow. to 140 degrees or 60 Celsius. There's three bottles in here. There's three. Uh, yeah, there's four, five, and six. So I'm, so I'm going to go through, I'm going to go through all three of these one at a time. So four. Okay. Four. So I added four. I mixed it back and forth. This is part A. Part A. I did number five. I mixed five. it back and forth. And as you can see, this is a very dark staining color. It starts very looking dark. like motor oil at this time. Mm -hmm. And then I added uh, number six and I mixed those back and forth. Number six. And as you can see, this one is very, you can't see through this one at all. No. You, can, you can see no. through both of yeah. those amber jar. Looks, you cannot see through this one. All. Looks this like one, a light L, like a wheat L. And this looks like a dark amber. And this looks like a lager. <laughs> this this one is some serious darkness it's here. Deep, it's deep dark. So I, I have labeled them. I put a date on them. I said how many rolls I've got out of these things. So I, this now is looking pretty good. how many rolls do you get out of these? That I don't know. 16, um, I believe. Is it? So that it would be as much as the CS41 you know, gets, right? I, yeah, it, it, it would be. Um, I also have, but I'm going to put these back in a box here. And put it down here. Now... Oh, well, I do. I actually do have a sheet that has all well, of it. We'll look that up yeah. and add that to the screen. But the, the mixing was pretty straightforward. Very not hard at all. And I'm going to give credit to Cinestill because last time I dissed them on the instructions. I said, oh, my gosh, those are so hard to read. And you got a comment and, about and, that and, from Cinestill. And, and I, well, no, I, <laughs> I, I got a comment because I, I, I said uh, uh, carcinogen. Oh, OK. <laughs> now, uh, once, once, no, once again, no, you're going to no, see no, that I no. mixed this and I didn't use gloves. Uh, yeah. I probably should have. But Mrs. Holga used up our last gloves. Uh, I think she was making meatloaf or something like that. So I, I was out of gloves. <laughs> but these instructions, very easy to read, okay. very, very nice and sharp. The quality printing here, I didn't, I didn't need to get a magnifying glass. It was, it was all fantastic. Um, uh, other than, like I said, the the water temperature for that first part was not on the bottle, and I just started mixing. I I didn't know these instructions were in part two. Oh, oh. See, I, see, I didn't I didn't open wow. part two and and then get these instructions until after I had already done part one. So, and okay. then I'm reading. I was okay. like, oh, well, where were these instructions when I went? And there were no instructions. So so they all not in the part three either. No, no, no. There was instructions in part two and part three. But, okay, but this bottle by itself has nothing on there. Mixing instructions says nothing about. A, t a temperature. Sure. So that is my one points off right there. He's like, okay. if you want this to be a certain temperature, you should say it on the bottle. On the bottle. On the bottle. Otherwise, so far, everything is simple. I've got I've got three chemicals. I've got them mostly up to temperature and mm -hmm. I'm ready to go. Yeah. Uh, if anything, I actually, because remember, I, I heated my uh, first mix up to get it properly mixed, mm -hmm. actually made it too hot. And I was actually sitting around waiting for it to cool back down. Uh, I, <laughs> even put hot, in, hot. I, I put it in the refrigerator for a little while, too. Okay. So I eventually got it back down to what it needs to be. Right. Uh, now, let's, so let's get into the processing. So okay, now processing. Uh, I've got a water bath. I essentially just got a basin that I can fill a lot of really hot water in. <laughs> so what are you laughing at? <laughs> You don't see me. I'm just, just one of those <laughs> I, white little tubs. Rotating this direction here. <laughs> He's got a good chair going on, guys. Woo. Um, you need to bring the temperature of your water up to about 102, 104 degrees. Uh, obviously, you sell thermometers. So yes. Go ahead and need thermometers. I don't heat up the bottles themselves. I don't heat up this entire bottle because what I normally oh, yeah. end up needing yeah. is only like a portion of the bottle. So what I do is I put my chemicals in a plastic beaker 
the only the quantity I need. And then I find that that much, uh, that much of a uh, filled beaker will fit completely in there. So essentially the water level and that will be at the same height. Uh, my sink temperature can get up to hundred and let's say about 115, possibly 120. Mm -hmm. So if I put them in there and I set them in, you know, in uh, probably about a half an hour, the temperatures are probably raised, but because I've already, I've already had these at a higher temperature, I didn't really have to wait around a lot. But if I was doing this from scratch and they mm -hmm. were all cold and I'm raising them up from, let's say, 70 degrees to 100, where it's going to take about a half an hour. And it's really easy to do to, to just put them in the sink and get them there. So the first one has to be the first uh, developer bath mm -hmm. has to be uh, at 104 degrees and it's going to be there for six minutes. That's what I developed it for. It says six to nine minutes, but then I start looking at the chart and really if, I, if I'm at the proper temperature, it's right at six minutes. However, the lower the temperature you are, the longer it's going to take for okay. the developing. So yeah. that, that's what's actually adding the minutes to. Uh, it did continuous agitation. I went ahead and did that. So essentially like every, I was like holding it. You'll, you'll, I've got the video there you guys are watching. I'm probably just holding it and I'm turning, holding and turning, I'm holding and turning. So. I, I, I don't, yeah. wow. my new method is I don't really like turning the, uh, the dev tanks upside down yeah. because they're leaky. Yeah. So I've got that little, uh, that little, uh, knob Start thing. The, yeah. I just kind of just rotor, turn it and, and you turn. can feel that the chem, the, uh, the film inside is kind of bouncing up and down and turning. So I'm like, yeah, that works for me. So that was uh, six minutes. Okay. And then I'm finding out everything else at that point is six minutes. So I've got the, the second step, which is the color and reversal bath. Mm hmm it says, uh, essentially it says less than six minutes, but I'm just going to, okay, well, let's just go right up to six minutes and be done with this, right? Okay, six minutes. Uh, I did that, you know, uh, mind you, I did a, I do a rinse between each one of these. So I did the first bath, I rinsed just to get the, the overall chemicals out. I put in the next one, I do it for six minutes, then I rinse that out. It's a very quick little rinse. And then the last one is the bleach and fixer bath, or as a lot of people say, was the Blix. The Blix. It's the really dark motor oil looking stuff. The BLIX. Uh, yeah, and that says six to ten minutes. But guess what I did? Six minutes. Six minutes. So essentially six so minutes, six, six, six minutes, six, six minutes. Six. And that, that seemed to work for me. Uh, mm -hmm. And I got results, you yeah. know? Uh, yeah. After that, I, of course, I rinsed for, I don't know, ten minutes or ten washings and all that kind of stuff. I used PhotoFlow because I, I like my, my negatives really spot-free. Yes, and we sell that here at Don's Use PhotoFlow uh, as well. I, I hung them up in the shower. I used Squeegee. Yep. And as a matter of fact, I love the squeegee so much because so uh, remember that remember that blizzard we had a few weeks ago? Wow. Yeah. Well, it, it's a Texas blizzard. It it's was not... a Texas. It was so cold that uh, my <laughs> wife's truck, her the tires, lost air pressure, or yeah. at least the the gauge says it lost right, air pressure. Right. I'm trying to do air quotes, and I, don't, I have these fingers. Said air, air so quotes for the air it, pressure. It said the air pressure should have been 36, but they said, well, your tires are 32. I'm like, okay, well, I'll go out because she was, she's a nurse and she's going to go to work. And so mm -hmm. I will go out and fill them up. But mind you, it's freezing outside. Yes. And my, 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 the air hose line is snapped. Oh. It was so cold. It snapped. Wow. I'm like, I, and I didn't do very much. I went to try and plug it in. I was just trying to, and it went click. And I'm like, it was just that, it, no, it was a little bit old too, but the fact that, <laughs> so I'm only telling you guys this because I normally have my compressor mm -hmm. to uh, dust my, my, uh, my skin, oh, my negative with. Yeah. I, you know, the air hose, I just yes. go Psh -sh -sh, and, yeah. and then, you know, to get rid of the dust. I had, uh, I didn't have the air hose this time, but <laughs> I had very little dust. Yes. Very little dust. Mm -hmm. So very this cool. squeegee works guys. Yes. I, I am a true believer in the squeegee. And I sell them here as well. I know that's it's great. Uh, it's, um, we're almost like a real camera store, aren't we? I, if I didn't have a squeegee, I would get a squeegee. Yeah, yeah, from Don's. So, I mean, essentially, that's the process. Uh, I, I got the film, I hung it out, and I, I scanned them today. And I have scans to show wow. you. Wow, and I'm ready to see them. You're ready to see them. I am ready to see them. And you know what I forgot to do? Bring the scans. No, no, no. Well, actually, <laughs> actually, I did forget to bring the actual scans, but I forgot to bring my iPad uh, over there. I thing. know. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, give me a second, guys. I, I looked around for that and totally did not see it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Okay, ready. <laughs> we can't put that. In. No, no, we can't. <laughs> all right so uh all right 
I don't have the actual negatives with me. Todd is right. I did forget those at home, but, well, that's, but that's okay. We the, didn't need the, the negatives. The, and I said, what am I keep saying? You really can't I, see the negatives. I anymore. keep saying negatives. They're positive. They're positives. <laughs> that's right. So I this is our I first haven't shot slides in forever. Positive, uplifting video. This is a positive. So uh, I I left the positives at home. They mm -hmm. are properly archived forever. Nice little name and date, and uh, the fact that I used retro chrome 400 everything's yes. on it yes. and so i brought the pictures here which i'm going to share with you guys but todd is going to look at them here on oh the, man the screen. absolutely absolutely and he can narrate some of these sh uh, shots for you just go click on the first one you oh, probably yeah. just turn them sideways turn turn, 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 turn sideways, sideways turn it sideways there you go there i am yep me holding the back old chrome so uh, this is retro chrome. It, it's muted colors. They're not. It is. They're not super sharp. They're uh, not not sharp. They're not uh, crisp. They're not vivid. It has a kind of an older. Uh, I hate to say seventies look, but it, they look like it older it pictures. Looks. But but the film's not that old. It just has that that look. Right. Ah uh, yes, and our tribute to Pro Four Hundred H up there. Right. And this has the actual bag. The, the the original bag and it, yeah it has half the so if you want to see these pictures i'm going to put a link to them down below down me below. not below him but down below me in the description ah. i've got a gallery on Flickr if you want to go and take a look at these pictures and we got a mass bandit shot uh, we've got i've got todd i've got mass bandits yeah uh, more nope. bass bandits more bass more ba eyes closed on that one <laughs> i know i well you know when somebody blinks it's yeah. like you, 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 gotta, you just can't you have to enjoy that yeah yeah you gotta leave it and then this is our tribute to the... Pro no, that's 100. the wall. The wall. The, the Great Wall of Film. The wall, wall, I think wall, we need wall. to call it the Great Wall the of Film. The Great Wall of Film. The Great Wall of Film, which is right here. Right here by us. Yeah. And you too could see it if you came into the store. And bought stuff. Oh, then your trip to the Dallas Zoo. Uh, yeah, the day that was raining. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I see you can see all the raindrops. Raining. <laughs> raining. Oh, yeah. And I got a, a train. The Allen City uh, Council bought, well, me, think, bought I, me a train. Bought you, they stuck, but do you get to keep it at your house or are they keep it? At no, the, they're going to keep it at the depot at downtown. But <laughs> and now, OK, when you see this, what's the first song that comes into your head? Uh, oh, come on. Petticoat the, Junction. Oh, no, no, no. I was thinking Casey Jones. <laughs> no, that's not a song. Well, or the song by Train, Runaway Train. Runaway Train. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the crazy train. Crazy train. Ozzy. Yeah. So yeah, but yeah. the city council bought me a train and a caboose, and it's right there next to the station. Yeah, so baby got back. But of course, all the stuff around it looks horrible. <laughs> yeah. Oh, these are some dogs. Uh, them's the dogs, Sherlock, Sasha, and Pico in the back. Ah, uh, Sherlock detective. Uh, can he? Can he? Can he detect? Well, he no. can. He investigates. <laughs> if you have food, he will investigate. <laughs> Good, Charles. Yes. The bug. Yeah, that's my beetle. Yeah, I, I wish I had my beetle. This is a... Uh, See? More beetle talk with beetle uh, talk. with Holga and Puckett. That's right. That's right. This is your beetle. It looks like it was an originally sort of a light blue. No, it's primer. <laughs> <laughs> that's not pain at all. Uh, now that, and that's just a toy. Though. Yes, yes. I can tell it's a toy. It's a toy. Yeah. Whoa. You have toy, uh, lots of toy uh, bugs. Now I shot uh, pictures of some vivid flowers. So it, as you can, I tried, I tried to shoot as much color as I could so yes. that I could actually see, get a gauge for what the film was going to do. So mm -hmm. like I said, that's why I can easily say <sighs> muted tones here because it's like nothing is super. Nothing vibrant. pops. It's, it's not like. Provida. Uh, that is my weather Holga. Your weather Holga. Oh, it's actually it's on it's, the tree outside of my backyard. And so it fills up with water. No, but oh. if I want to know what the weather is, I go and look outside and take a look at the Holga, and I was like, oh, well, if the if the Holga is casting a shadow, it's sunny. If if the Holga is wet, it's raining. Yes. If the Holga is hard to, if you can't see the Holga, it's night. It's night or foggy. No, if the Holga is hard to see, it's, then it's oh. foggy. It's, yes. And a couple weeks ago, see, if, if Holga's covered in white flakes, it's, it's snowing. snowing. Yeah, see, yeah, see, see, yep. It's, yep. A, it's, a, it's a weather Holga. It's a weather Holga. And Mrs. Holga asks, she goes, Is, are you going to leave that on the tree? I say, yes. Yes, yes I am. Oh, some nice blue flowers. Uh, yeah, and, you know, like I said, muted tones, but yet mm -hmm. it's still very lovely. And it seems like a little out of focus, but that's just the grain. I showed that to my, I showed uh, at least one of the couple of shots to my second place daughter. And she says, these colors are very in right now. As far as <laughs> the, the, the people want, they want a nice retro look for some yes, photos. Yes. And, th and th this is a, 
avocado. Not, uh, aloe. 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 That's it's what, not an avocado. No, no. It started with an A. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> aloe. You know, like you. Yeah. That's good sounds stuff. like a. Yeah. Now, dog. Uh, that's corgi. Yes. Corgi. Cor corgi. Cor corgi. Welsh corgi. corgi. One of the queen's corgi. dogs. One of the queen's do dogs off leash prohibited. Yeah, I hate that sign at the park. Yes. Because I always take my dogs off the leash when they get there. Who let the dogs out? Ah, trees. Naughty trees. Absolutely. Naughty. Oh, man. So once again, I'm just looking for Artwork. some color. Artwork. With... That's like a playground. Now, I, I, I kind of shot up at the bottom, top of the playground because I couldn't shoot down where the kids are. I didn't want to be attacked by a bunch of yes. moms. Yeah. They'll be like, why are you taking a picture I of my kids? Oh, an old tree. Yes. Now, what kind of, this looks like a pecan tree. I, there are some pecan trees out there in the park because I see some people uh, in the season. They're all, they're hunting around for the free pecans. Yeah, looks like native pecans too. Probably. And a tower. Yeah, and there's some guys up there. I saw that. <laughs> they're the little bitty. Yes. Ah, traffic. Well, once again, I'm looking for the color, right? Yes. And, yes. The, that, and they're bright orange, but yet yeah, the film is muted, muted bright a little orange. Bit. It really does look like it's from the 70s, man. It's I like, hate that truck. But, yes. but I took a picture of it anyways. That's the truck you hate. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I forgot oh, about this one. <laughs> yeah. Poor fella. That's the one that... Dead, um, dead squirrel, guys. Dead, dead squirrel, squirrel. Dead squirrel. Super but, secret, secret squirrel. Because we're this is the the KGB edition of, the, oh, of, of oh, our video. So that's, the, that's true. So that's the squirrel that evaded your trap. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't evade somebody's car. <laughs> no, no. He wishes it had been caught and released in the squirrel. Into the squirrel preserve. Yeah. Squirrel preserve. And then a car, please don't feed the alligators. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I, you know, I uh, was walking around the neighborhood. It, it, sub, suburbs are horrible places to shoot, but you, you have to look for those small details. Ah, horse now, trailers. these last ones are at the horse show. Yes. I uh, got to do that on Sunday with Mrs. Holga. Yes. So, so I, you know, you always like two horses looking back at you. Yeah. They're like, hey, what are you doing taking our picture? You're not feeding us, you know? Well, they both have hay bags in front yeah. of them. So oh, they're yeah. They're like, no, nah, you're not feeding us. All right, so which ones? Both are hers? No, no, neither oh, one. Neither one. Keep going. Sorry. Uh, there you go. There you that, go. That is Ivan, and oh. there's Mrs. Alka. So you said this is the one that you call Glue Factory? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Looks like a very fine No, horse. that's the horse that keeps me in cameras. Oh, there you go. Because because of this horse, I can buy any camera I yes. want. Because it's a I lot cheaper than I can't horse. buy enough cameras to keep up with that horse. Exactly. Now... Ah. I sent this one to her, and I said, uh, and "I said this is how to tell when your horse is a bully because he's biting the other horse." Yeah, and the other horse has its ears by. He's like, uh, he's got to look at it. He's like, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. So, oh, there's, there you go. Riding, there you go. Riding, 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 the horse. riding. John Deere. John Deere. And that was and it. That's it. That's it. So it, wonderful. Do yeah. check out the link below and and see the photos. Yes, uh, proof is in the pudding. Now, I did not. I did not overly adjust the photos. Now, my scanner might be. Uh, not scan them as, as well as other scanners do, but mm -hmm. I tried to keep them as original as I could because I figured if, if the true nature of slides is you put them in a slide projector. Right. And so I wanted them almost as if they came off the roll. So I, I did very minor editing and obviously I did a very little dust removal because of my squeegee. True, true. But uh, I all in all, Cinestill Film, uh, the E6 kit is yes. a super success. Because once again, yes. I have developed some color film. The retro chrome, yeah. And the retro chrome is a success too. Yes. Uh, I mean, it. like I said, if you're looking for something uh, super different. vibrant, I wouldn't go with this. But if yeah. you're wanting something different, if you're wanting something uh, almost a lot, almost like the Kodak natural color, you know, yes. it's, it's got yes. more muted tones to it. If that's what you want, then I highly but, recommend uh, this Do film. you think that if you process it differently then it could change this look well quite possibly because you know the first step here and i took yeah. the daylight one you know there are two other options yeah. over there uh, i probably wouldn't take the tungsten but maybe no. if i took the dynamic the dynamic one may have given it a different flare it might have given it a different pop which means i had just buy uh, but that also plus, your, plus your you know temperatures now mixing it up and not getting it too you know if you had it yeah, I, there's I, a lot I of little I don't variables know. that can affect. Well, it's chemistry at that point, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah, but there's a lot of little variables that could affect this. And I'm sure if you played with it, you could have different effects on it. Yeah, yeah. That would be a lot of cool stuff. But it's still, this is what photography is about. It's, it's experimenting. You, you create the the look that you want Yeah, and work at it. Yeah. I do have a complaint yep. about the film. Okay. How, how many exposures are on the film? 24. 
24 exposures. Well, I have a complaint because there's false advertising. One roll I got 28, the other I got 30. <laughs> and that's I that I just cannot stand for this. It I know, said 24. I know, 24. But no, and there were there shooting, were more shots on the film. Shooting. You I, didn't I stop. Thought, I thought the camera was broken. I <laughs> thought it was as like no, it, it should have stopped. It should it should have cut her off right at that. See, now what you did is you just let everybody know that I special that they sent me <laughs> the film that had more exposures <laughs> on it, nobody else. Just and you, you just blew the lid just, right off of it. The, the fact the that your 24 right exposures aren't 24 exposures. They are more. I mean, that's But like, now if somebody comes up and says, I only got 24 on mine, now nah, I'm not happy. That's like going to Subway and expecting a foot long to be actually 12 inches. Yeah, well, they're not. <laughs> they're but not. it's like you get a, you ask for a 12 inch and you get a 15 inch. This <laughs> in is in this, this case, is. you're right. This is you ask this for is a 12 about. and you get a baker's dozen. Essentially. A baker's, you're, you're baker's dozen. dozen. Yes. And if you don't know what that is, look it up. <laughs> 13. You know, this place, if I'm correct, 13. is more fun than a bag of combs. Yes. Man, I tell you what, we should actually do something to where, you know, whenever you buy camera stuff. You're going to have to tell me how this happened. Oh, well, I bought out somebody's camera stuff and I got... A Christmas bag. A Christmas bag full of... A reusable bag. Combs. 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 So I have had these combs for a while and I'm sitting there thinking, you know what? I mean, maybe if we just like, if you, you buy a roll of film and you I want to comb. I think you just put them in a, a short little jar on the counter and maybe people will pick them up like pens. <laughs> and like, oh. No, no, because then they'll use them and sit it back in there and go, no, no, that's not it. You, you touch it, you take it. <laughs> you touch it, you take, take it. it. Well, you yeah. put that on, put it on the jar. You free, touch. Co free comb, please take. Yeah. Free comb to good home. <laughs> <laughs> and if you run it through your hair you take it out the door yes at, oh definitely so yeah 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 if you get it get stuck in your hair then you then you definitely take it home <laughs> Amar. Amar. yes so anyway fun things at the camera store that you, you never know what you you're never know it. what you're actually going to get and it's like oh uh, these are all combs in this bag all combs i mean they're and they're and, all oh, you can take both of them. They're all exactly the you can same. Use them. They're you, all the same. You can use them. Oh, you got three. Wow. I'm not keeping them. You're not keep, I thought you'd use them for your dogs. <laughs> no. Or your horse. <laughs> no, no, no. Did you did you not see the picture of him biting the other oh, horse? Oh, yes. Yeah. He bites people too, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm he, not going to say anything. He does. Can't say anything. Um, Man, that's the squeakiest chair I've ever heard is, before it, it, in my it is, life. It is, it is. But, you know. Okay. Can't well, speaking of, of, of squeaky, I'm hungry. You ready? I am too, man. Let's blow this I'm hungry. Joint. You're hungry. Oh, well, man. that's, you know, give us we gotta something get this to eat. Thing out of here. All right, let's go have something to eat. Oh, man. Wait. What? Did we forget something? I think we forgot something. What are you doing? Oh, oh, oh. We forgot to say goodbye to y'all. Bye. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Please like. do share, like, subscribe, make comments, tell a friend, tell a phone, tell two yeah. friends. Tell two friends. Yeah. Wow. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go sell it on the mountain. Man. And I'm, I'm you. sorry you're not here to enjoy the okra. Yeah. Or the hush, hush puppies. puppies. Yeah. Sorry. So man, a lot. You'll have to put in the comments where you think we went. <laughs> <laughs> and who bought? I bought. I yeah. bought. I bought him lunch. Yeah. Oh, excuse so, me, dinner. 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 Man. All right. We'll bye. see you guys Thanks. later. Bye. Ciao, y'all. All right. <laughs>